time for Tax Tip Tuesday. We are joined this morning by Chris Porter with Porter Kenny. Thanks for coming in. You're we welcome. appreciate it. So let's talk about today uh, tax tips for homeowners. Where do they begin? Well, for homeowners, there's two very obvious deductions, and one is home mortgage interest on your main home uh -huh. and property taxes on your main home. Most people know about those deductions. But what is commonly missed is you could actually write off the interest you pay on a second home. Okay. That might sound like something a rich person would do, right? They have a second home, maybe in Hawaii. Or like an investment property, right? That's right. But okay. it also can be a trailer, a camper, or a motor home. That mm. can count as your second home as long as it has a place to sleep, a kitchen, and a bathroom facility. Huh. So if you have a trailer parked next to your house, even if it is never being used, mm -hmm. and you pay interest on a loan on that trailer, right. you could write that off as your second home interest. And those are just kind of the three categories you have to have, right? You said a bedroom, bathroom, and then just a place to, li That's to right. live? Okay. That's right. So Good to know. Some people might be throwing a sleeping bag and a Coleman stove and a porta potty <laughs> in their pickup truck, but that's not going to pass IRS on. Yeah, that that's <laughs> probably won't work. Okay, so what are some other deductions maybe that get overlooked or people don't know about? So also property taxes on uh, another like a second home or even an empty parcel of land okay that's pretty common in the tri-cities to live in a main home and yet uh, purchase an empty parcel of land for a future home that you're planning right. on building. and a lot of people forget you could write off the property taxes on that empty parcel of land interesting stuff and additionally if you have a significant home remodel or addition to your home if you mm -hmm. add a bedroom or if you do all new flooring in your house right. you could write off the sales tax paid on that remodel so save all those Home Depot and Lowe's receipts mm -hmm. because that could add up to a huge tax deduction. Amazing stuff. Okay, and then of course get in touch with you guys if you're interested in learning some more. And uh, we're coming up on, what is it, the 29th is the filing? The 29th is Start? the first day to file. All That's right, right, so we're just days away now. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. We appreciate Thank you, it. Morgan.